What's happening guys? This is the Sermon Series Speed Up and today we are piecing together a modern day look at David and Goliath in Photoshop. If you're new here, this is smartdesign.church where we help churches communicate the timeless gospel in the 21st century. So without further ado, let's do it. Saul told David, you are not able to go out against this Philistine and fight him. You are only a young man, and he has been a warrior from his youth. Talking about Goliath, of course. But then David said to Saul, your servant has been keeping his father's sheep. When a lion or a bear came and carried off a sheep from the flock, I went after it. I struck it and rescued the sheep from its mouth. When it turned on me, I seized it by its hair, struck it, and killed it. Your servant has killed both the lion and the bear. This uncircumcised Philistine will be like one of them because he has defied the armies of God. See, this spoke to me because David was so underqualified and everyone was making sure he knew that. He was just the shepherd who was taking care of the flocks of sheep. This wasn't a kid who was trained to be this warrior. But that to me is what's fascinating because David was so underqualified. But you know what else was underqualified in this story? the tools that he used. He picked up five stones, and spoiler alert, he ended up killing Goliath with just one of those stones. He didn't whip out a sword, he obviously didn't have guns or a cannon or anything like that, nothing fancy, literally just he picked up some stones. I mean, that in and of itself is underqualified, so this story to me is the perfect example of God using the underqualified to take on such a crazy task. So my question to you would be, what is that Goliath in your life? What is that one thing that you just feel like you are completely underqualified to handle, at least by yourself? Does it have anything to do with your area of work or your career? Maybe you feel underqualified to be the parent to your kids. Maybe it has something to do with the ministry that you were called into, and it has nothing to do with what you went to school for or what you've learned about your whole life. If you have that Goliath in your life, don't feel like you're alone. I have those Goliaths in my life as well, and I mean, this business of smart design is one of those Goliaths in my life. I don't feel like I'm qualified. But let me tell you, if God is on your side, it is impossible to fail. Because it is not in God's nature to fail. And if he's with you, if he called you to something, he will get you through it. So today is that day that you pick up the slingshot and whatever it means for you, slay that Goliath.